thought I would take a quick shot of the inside of the wire box uh, before I put a new base on. There are the superheater tubes there. Uh, the chimney flue, it goes through the drum of the boiler to add a bit more uh, heating surface. Uh, this here is the uh, feed water pipe that uh, I put in. Uh, hopefully it'll warm up the water, feed water a little bit as it goes in. Uh, every little helps. Uh, this is a boiler drum. I thought it was steel, but it's uh, ordinary steel, but it's stainless actually and quite thick walled uh, fire door. Uh, I think at one time this was coal fired and there was a, a grate and an ash box that fitted in this area here, but I think it's a little bit small to be coal fired and fiddly. So I'm going to put a gas burner in there when I've made a base for the boiler, for the firebox. I think that's all I can show in this stage. I'll get on with putting the, making a base. And I've got quite a bit to do with this boiler. Uh, it would probably have been cheaper to get a, a new boiler this size, but uh, this is more interesting and quite a challenge. There's loads of things I've got to do yet. Okay, thanks. I've fitted a new safety valve here and set it to go up at 60 pounds per square inch. For now it's easily adjustable. That's the original. Ah. Uh, I fitted a new fossil bronze ball in it, but I wasn't happy with the state of the seat, so with safety valves I don't take any chances, so we'll stick with a new one. And I've made two of these brackets, fitted them uh, to hold the whole thing to the base when I do that. I don't want to do that yet because I don't know what else I want to fit and so on. The tedious part of the job was all the unions on the original boiler were BSB, British Standard Brass, or Brass anyway. The 26 turns per inch uh, sides, regardless of what diameter they are. I was fortunate this one for the pressure gauge, uh, this one for the clack valve and the whistle connection. There was enough meat on the existing uh, connections for me to be able to uh, drill and tap it to quarter ME sizes. These two however, this one and this one, the outlets on the C manifold, uh, I couldn't, so I had to get adapters uh, to bring them down from uh, 326 TPI to quarter ME. Uh, I wanted everything quarter ME because it's more or less standard for anything you want to fit. Uh, you know, like here. I'm waiting on a, a whistle, uh, probably have to wait a couple, two or three weeks to get that, but there you go. Uh, the safety valve is fine, set at 50, I've now hydraulically uh, tested the whole thing to 90 pounds per square inch, because that's the highest my gauge on my testing equipment would go. Uh, but, uh, Safety valve is set at 50.
Oh, and before I forget, for some reason, uh, there was no blow-down valve fitted to this boiler. So I drilled the base of the uh, water gauge and uh, tapped it quarter me and I'll put a plug in for now uh, until I order a low down valve and there's the plug in keep it all going it's beginning to look more like a functional boiler now There's the slot for the gas burner. A cut with a disc grinder so that the jet holder will go there and the burner will be right at the bottom. That's the new crack valve fitted. The spill down valve, sorry, fitted. Uh, and uh, so I can drain the boiler fine now. There's the door. In place, if I can do it, 100. There we go. All done. And that's it, isn't it? The burner won't fit with the door closed. Uh, unless I cut a bit off the bottom of the door but I don't really want to do that and I don't think it's necessary so there we go but I want to keep the door because it is a really nice thing right next stage base made and the water tank fitted. I've lagged inside the firebox with ceramic sheet. I meant to show that before I screwed the boiler down but I forgot but it is left inside with ceramics there's the gas tank fitted the pipe to the burner I have decided to cut a slot in the bottom of the fire door after all it makes it much neater there's a bell, oh, burner in place and I've lagged the end of the superheater dryer thing here next stage will be to drill into the man steam manifold and put some sort of drain cock there so there will be a part two of it steaming otherwise this video gets a bit long and boring <laughs> <laughs>